Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis with our Venus playthrough here, episode 12 of the series here. Look at what year we're on right now, it's crazy, right? And how much money we have too because I let the game run in the background for a really long time. So we've got a few things to go over. Now the heat's starting to slow down a little bit so eventually we're going to be uh, researching and creating temperature things to start uh, lowering the heat uh, a little bit more. But we'll let that keep running the course that it's running now. Pressure down to 4.8 million. I actually probably won't mess with the heat until the pressure hits more like a million. So we still got a ways to go. Uh, we turn off the two bio fixture labs. That puts us down to 4.8 million though. That's really, really good. Oxygen down to 231,000 and still dropping. So that's great. And water at minus 20, but it's not doing anything because there's nothing there. And that's with the two electrosis plants. We've actually got room to build one more hab dome, which we're going to do. And that puts our vapor in the atmosphere at 314,000. So, should we launch the campaign? Promoting a powerful anti-intellectual message, convincing people not to trust science and modern medicine. Before that, too, because the feature of local culture, but just doing so, yeah, sure, why not? We got so much money, we'll just launch that campaign. So we got a culture point to spend, which we ended up getting from a special event while I was playing off camera, so we'll go ahead and spend that now. That puts us pretty high up there for the victory. Uh, I do want to get another hab dome, so we got to get that down now. What is up with these populations? Those can't be correct. How did I lose 50,000 population? I just had 50,000 and I just lost it. I must have had, I must have lost a hab dome. Holy crap. Well, that really sucks. Wow. Well, let's go ahead and build another one. That must be where the plus 20 water came from. Okay, so we'll go ahead and build another hab dome. Um, that's plus 10. We're at minus 6 for oxygen, so we need to go ahead. Oh, not disable. I'm sorry. We need to go ahead and upgrade these to keep that going. And we probably should get another O2 filter as well. So that'll help balance that out even more. For research, we're not researching anything, but we know temperature is something we're going to be working on. We do have the aerostat platform. That gives us credits and minuses heat, so that's probably all we'll need. Uh, for pressure, nothing really here. There's not a whole lot I want to take, so let's go ahead and get the automated nursery going. And how did our satellite do? Have we gotten that yet? We did, so we got the space elevator, and that is operational. So... Your level has been crushed by the intense atmosphere. It's rating to a level. Wow. See, I'm having that happen a lot more recently. I'm hoping once we get the pressure dealt with that that's going to stop happening because <laughs> it's a really big problem. So which one was it? This one here. So we'll go ahead and just upgrade that one as well. Damn, okay. We could upgrade the carbon fixture. It's minus 60 oxygen. Let's wait till all the ones I'm building finish. Let's wait for that. And then getting the hab dome up makes the most sense. Let's go ahead and clear some of this out since these ran out. This is where, oh crap. That's where I got all my money from. And I've got literally as much money as I could ever need. In fact, if I go and check, I might even still be running in the positives without the mines running. Probably not, though. I'm probably in the negatives. Oh, no. It says I'm actually still in the positives. Why is that? Space elevator sockets giving me 50,000 credits. Wow. A lot of rich gem deposits, rich plutonium, trade route with water, trade route with water. Great writer, film studio, trade route with pressure, pressure, great library of Venus, rich gold. Well, I don't even need to really... Uh, build any more mining areas because there's so much money coming in without them. Uh, I'll go ahead and build one in each one just just to keep it up. And we'll go with rhodium for both of them. If I can find a good spot right there is pretty good. Okay, I'll take the extra 3,000. And what do we got over here? Should be some good rhodium. I thought there was yet yeah, a really large deposit up here. Oh, yeah. That's what I want. Nice. Okay, so that should be enough of the extra 10,000 plus all the additional income we've got going in. 
All right, nice. So there's really not a whole lot more to go over in this episode. We're kind of out of time already because we've done everything, but we're at victory 70%, which is pretty good. We'll get that up to 95% and then we'll set on a culture point while we balance all this out. You know, trying to get it as high as we can. Really, it's just waiting about the pressure to keep going down. Uh, that's really what we're waiting for. Uh, water's fine where it is for now. The hab dome's going to offset that. Minus 20. It's going to add some oxygen too. That's going to put this at plus 6. But with the additional upgrades to the O2 filters plus the additional one I'm building, we should see that go back into the negative so we can keep dropping this number down. Shouldn't be an issue. Uh, and we'll get one more culture point at 250,000. The other hab dome's going to get us at 200,000. Then we'll build another hab dome after that when we're ready to do it once everything's zeroed out again. We'll build another hab dome, hit that 250,000, and that'll put us at another culture point for 75%. And hopefully we can get another special event between now and then that'll give us another culture point as well. But with that being said, we are out of time. I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>